He was found outside a gas station in Troy during the cold of February. The abused puppy, later named De Niro, had suffered a broken jaw and bones. I think it takes a really sick person to do that to any living thing. His spirit could have been broken as well, but thanks to a small army of kind and generous folks, this is how De Niro is today. Hi. We met him with his foster parents, Calvin and Stephanie Koval. De Niro is now thriving within the family that includes a foster dog brother named Mud and a new addition, foster sister Hallie. Boys. Some cookies. He's tough. He, uh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, he's got a big heart. Yeah. Um, but he, he's also, he's a tough guy. But it took a lot of love on the part of the Kovals, as well as surgeries and generous donations to just get him to this point. There was a four hour long surgery to repair his jaw, paid for by kind donors. De Niro is also under the care of Roddy Empire Rescue, the nonprofit connecting the dog with veterinary surgeon, Dr. Joseph C. Glennon. So we're looking at a fracture through here of veterinary specialties in Pattersonville, New York. We put the bone plate on there with screws that's anchored into the bone to hold the bone together while it went on to heal. Dr. Glennon is set to perform surgery to remove the hardware, and he's kindly waiving the fee and doing the work pro bono. The poor little guy had a rough start in life, and I think that we owe it to him to at least do this for him. He has other things that he has to have done yet in his future. Those include a possible hip replacement, and that's why Roddy Empire Rescue is asking for donations to help cover any other medical costs moving forward. Yeah, he's so loving. In the meantime, <laughs> he's so loving. <laughs> I can tell. He loves you guys for sure. <laughs> the Kovals are preparing De Niro, who never lost his loving spirit, for adoption and his forever home. As for De Niro's accused abuser, Khadijah Davis, Troy police say they have a bench warrant out for her arrest after she failed to make her last court appearance. Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.